Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we got so many things to talk about, we need to break it all down and freak out about it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, I'm a little bit late on some news, however, in terms of this thing that we're going to be talking about first, I'm not late on this. So, okay, time to freak out. Godspeed is back. This comes from Frog Photography on Twitter. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can go check out the photo of Godspeed on the set last night. So, this is The Flash filming one of its final episodes of the season. I believe it's like the final three to four episodes they're on right now. So, they're not at the 150th episode, which is the penultimate episode of the season. And we're going to be talking about that in a minute because we got official confirmation that Bart Allen is going to be showing up in that episode. You're going to be seeing Jay Garrick as well and another major returning character, aka Nora West Allen. Jessica Parker Kennedy is back in Vancouver. We got to freak out about that just a bit later in this video. But first things first, let's go back to Godspeed. So yes, he was spotted on the set last night. I'm pretty sure Canada Graphs is also going to have a blog out sometime in the next few days. So maybe I'll extend on this. But for now, we have this photo of Godspeed on the set. And an interesting thing to note, and Canada Graphs confirmed this with me, is that there were six Godspeeds last night. So that means they're actually playing out this clone storyline and you're going to see multiple versions of Godspeed showing up. And this is definitely going to play into the back half. I don't know if he's going to be the main villain for the back half or if we actually will find out why this is happening. Why do we keep on seeing all these Godspeed clones or is it setting up something later next season? Well, I've got to say. I think they are going to make Godspeed the main villain of the back half of the final graphic novel of this season. And I think Godspeed will probably show up before this episode that they're filming. I'm not sure of the specific episode count that they're on right now. However, I'm pretty sure they've shot some stuff inside and this is just the first time we're seeing him out on the street. But Godspeed is suited up in the same normal gear. I'm not sure who's actually under it. I'm presuming it's a stunt double because they haven't tend to use actors as of right now because basically they just have the voice and then they have the stunt guy inside inside the suit because there hasn't been any big reveal obviously back in like season five you had the godspeed episode and it was revealed that was a version that now doesn't exist even though that was august Hart. and i believe this version of godspeed and whoever turns out to be the mastermind behind all of this isn't going to be august Hart. it's going to be someone different and maybe it has something to do with Speed Force Nora, that is some people's theories, maybe something greater is going on there. But I'm super excited and I can't believe we're getting like six Godspeeds showing up and we're actually going to be fully exploring this storyline, it's been going on for so long, like since the start of season six. So I mean it's a string that they played out for a long time and I'm glad we're finally getting some answers and yeah, let me know down in the comments down below. What do you guys think of this? Did you freak out when you learned that Godspeed was coming back? Because I did. But anyway, let's move on to the next thing. Like I mentioned earlier, we got official confirmation that in the 150th episode of The Flash Season 7, you're going to be seeing none other than Bart Allen, Jay Garrick, and Nora West Allen, aka excess so the respective actors for all of those characters are in vancouver as of right now which is super exciting so that being jessica parker kennedy as nora west allen obviously we haven't seen her since she supposedly got erased or died at the end of season five so it's been a while and she was one of my favorite characters of that season and i can't wait to see her back also we have john wesley ship returning as jay garrick obviously he's showing up in stargirl season two he just shot that recently over in america and so now he's come over for this Flash episode, and we were promised a Jay Garrick episode this season. But what's more exciting is that we know Jordan Fisher, the guy who just got cast as Bart Allen, aka Barry and Iris' son from the future, is also currently quarantined in Vancouver. So that means that in about two weeks, or just under two weeks, they're going to be getting ready to shoot the 150th episode. You're going to have the introduction of Bart Allen, you're going to have the return of two major Flash family members, that being Nora West Allen and also Jay Garrick. And so this episode is going to be huge. We knew that they were going to make a big deal out of it 
and they always do that, right? Like, look at the 100th episode, you had Savitar returning, Reverse Flash, Zoom, even Teddy Sears came back for that. And so with Arrow's 150th episode, they made a big deal out of it, they made like a kind of documentary style episode, and Grant even made a cameo in that. So they like to make big deals out of these kind of landmark episodes. And so this is going to be a huge Flash Family crossover episode, and I'm presuming it has something to do with Godspeed. Because if Godspeed is filming right now, and the character is going to be showing up at least one or two episodes before the 150th, could that mean that the culmination of the season is going to be in that penultimate episode leading into the finale, and you're going to have the Flash family members in both episodes taking down Godspeed, I think that would be really interesting, and I mean, they said they were going to have good and bad speedsters this season, and properly go into that, and I mean, we've had the Speed Force around since the start of the season, and we have the Forces, it's already a big deal, and it's going to become even bigger of a bigger deal, because you're going to have all of these Flash family members returning. And so, with Nora coming back, what must be noted is that, with Bart Allen actually, being confirmed to be Barry and Iris's son from the future, are they siblings, are they the Tornado Twins in this post-Crisis reality? Because Nora hasn't actually shown up since Crisis, so is this version of Nora completely different, and is this their version of the Tornado Twins? It could be possible, and I definitely think they're siblings if Nora is showing up at the same time as Bart, maybe they time travel back together. So that's going to be really intriguing to see how that all plays out and goes down. Like, are they actually going to be twins? Are they going to be of the same age? In this post-crisis timeline, did Barry and Iris have a son and a daughter at the exact same time? Or is it that, say, Nora is older and just this version of Nora we've seen in the past? At that point, Bart Allen wasn't actually born, and so somehow Nora is a bit older. However, it must be noted that Jessica Parker Kennedy does look very young and could totally pull off the same age as Jordan Fisher, the actor who is going to be playing Bart Allen on the show. So I'm going to say it's more likely that they are playing twins or siblings that are of a similar age. But when he was cast, it was noted that he was like the fastest teenager alive. So maybe that kind of gives a precedent against the Tornado Twins because Nora wasn't a teenager when she showed up on the show. But nevertheless, it's super exciting to have Jay Garrick back because we haven't had him back in quite a while. We knew he was coming back and then when they announced the Stargirl thing, I was like, is this what they were talking about? But no, it turns out he's actually committed to coming back. I presume all of these characters are going to be around for one to two episodes. Because it's the 150th episode, it's obviously going to be very special. But also it's one episode away from the finale, so I don't see the harm in them sticking around. So I think it's likely that this Flash Family team up is going to continue on past the 150th episode into the finale. And then talking about season 8 quickly, I do think Jordan Fisher's Bart Allen is going to stay on. I'm not 100% about Nora, obviously I would be very happy to see Jessica Parker Kennedy come back full time because she was really great and I love Nora as a character and I know not everyone loves her that much so I think it all depends on the way that the show wants to go in season 8 and also if the actors want to stick around but it seems like with them introducing Bart Allen they're going to be playing out this impulse storyline a lot more than just one episode so that's why I'm saying he's probably going to show up in the finale and he'll probably continue into season 8 but I think it's a little bit less likely that Nora and Jay will stick around to season 8. Okay, so just before we end off this video, I wanted to include this piece of fan art that I found. I couldn't find exactly where it was from, but I did see it around, and I wanted to include it in the video because it gives us a cool, rough idea of how Bart Allen will look in the show, played by Jordan Fisher, so this is just really cool. I included it in the thumbnail, and I've been waiting to show you guys this. So, you know, with all of this 150th episode news, and the fact that Jordan Fisher is in town, I'm getting super excited about this, and I just wanted to show off maybe how he could potentially look. And so that's what you're seeing on the screen now, and I reckon we're going to be seeing some set photos sometime in the next two weeks or so, because we know that they're quarantining, that means they're spending two weeks locked away, and then they're probably going to film sometime in the next few days after they get out. So you're probably going to be seeing more Godspeed at the same time because I presume he's going to be the main villain for the back half of the season and you're going to be seeing the kind of conclusion of that and I presume 
the other Flash family members will be out and about on set, that being their actors of course, probably in costume. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching, please click here to watch my latest video. Also remember to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new and enjoyed the video. You can become a member by clicking the join button and get cool perks like a monthly Zoom call with me and your fellow members. That's going to be coming up sometime in the next week or so. So now is the time to become a member, so click the join button next to the subscribe button below. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.